might think that rapidly healing wounds and growing bone is in the realm of Star Trek, but it's very much part of the emerging field of regenerative medicine. At the University of New South Wales, scientists have discovered what speeds up the healing process. When I ran into a colleague who was working at a company in the US, Hamcon, and they were developing a bandage that was used in the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan, a lot of the surgeons were noting that their healing process was more, it was quicker, it was better. And so they went to the company and said, well, how does your bandage work? And so the Vice President of Research and Development, Hemcon, had to answer to them that he didn't know. And so when we got talking, he said, do you reckon we could set our collaborative research project with you guys where we could start looking at some of the mechanisms of the, how this bandage works? A world away from the battlefield, these revolutionary bandages are made out of chitazan, a substance which is found in the exoskeletons of crustaceans and shellfish. Dr. Megan Lord has been researching how chitazan works to improve the healing process. The first part of the research has been to focus on the white blood cells, as they are very important at the early phases of wound healing. So we discovered that these white blood cells produce a short form of the molecule perlican that is released in the wound site and promotes the wound healing cells to produce collagen. So the role of chitosan in the wound healing process is to concentrate the blood and the white blood cells in the wound site to get maximum amount of that short form of perlican into the wound to heal it. This short form of perlican had never been seen before and was a world first. Since this discovery, the team's aim was then to replicate the molecule into a more usable form. We've cloned the gene for the short form of Perlican and we were able to produce it in large quantities in the laboratory so that we can apply it to other wound sites such as diabetic wounds, but also use it to understand the biochemistry of vascular disease and liver fibrosis. Now there's an understanding about how it works, current research is focused on chitosan-based future materials for bone regeneration. UNSW has a new $540,000 project which will be funded by Synergen, UNSW and the Australian Research Council. We realised that the chitosan's fundamental building blocks were very similar in some ways to the perlican building blocks. We thought maybe we could turn the chitosan into a growth controlling molecule. And so the first step in that is to make that into a soluble form. And then that could be injected into, say, a bone to make new bone tissue to heal bones. With our healing processes slowing down as we get older, alongside an ageing population, a substance which promotes bone growth would be groundbreaking. We're still probably 10 to 15 years away from really getting that into the clinic. We're really at the front end of understanding the structures and how it really does control those bone cell growth factors.